Hello and welcome. Uh, this is an unboxing of Warlord Games uh, Prussian Landware. You basically the Prussian Landware, uh, the Landware were not your regular frontline troops. These were more like a militia where you had men about 40 and teenage uh, men um, who were there. And they had a little training, but they had incredible enthusiasm. So this box represents a unit of those. Uh, you've got 24 of them. Uh, that is a combination of metal and plastic on there. Uh, this is for the originally for the game system Black Powder, put up by Warlord Games. If you look on the back, you'll see what the unit looks like. Uh, there and you'll notice that wow the uniforms are not exactly the best in the world well the landwear didn't exactly get the pick of the uniforms typically a great coat a pair of pants and a cap and a rifle and that was pretty much it uh, for those guys but nonetheless uh, what does it include here you've got 24 uh, 24 figures total, 21 of them are plastic, and you got three metal command. Typically when they say metal command, that's typically referring to the flag guy, the guy who's holding up the flag, the drummer, and the officer in charge. Now, I want to point out that unlike uh, Perry Miniatures, where they do include bases in there, Warlord does not include the bases in there. So either you would go and you could purchase uh, bases and work with that or make your own many instances I've made my own um, but let's open this up and see what we've got here. Wow something says something about the packaging here okay wow got a lot of goodies in here so let's take a look here Ooh. Okay, first off, let's go ahead, we'll put this off to the side here. So we have these plastic sprues that are, uh, wow, they're sealed, that's impressive. Perhaps it's to keep the uh, character safe, but let's take a look at, here's the sprue. These sprues, eh, basically they are all the same, so you got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these sprues. Now this one's not sealed, but it will give you an idea. Uh, basically, you have three guys on there, and if you've seen Perry Miniatures, they give you the option of choosing a head and putting on the backpack separately. Now, for this, for Warlord, this is my first uh, Napoleonic uh, box kit that I have opened up from Warlord. So I've worked with bolt action uh, miniatures from Warlord where you could put together the arms, the legs, the torso, and all that. So you can make different positions. These guys, uh, it's all molded on there. The detail is pretty nice uh, on these guys. Now, there is also the little sword that they have that you would glue onto the back. I would assume for the sake of argument. Okay, so you got seven of these sprues. Now, you also have, that gives us 21 plastic figures. You also have three metal miniatures. Okay, you have three metal miniatures here, so let me, let's break them down for you. So we have our Landwehr Drummer, as uh, you can see on here, which is really cool. Uh, the detailing there is pretty straightforward. Now uh, we have our Landwehr Officer. And again, yeah, when you're working with metal figures, you know, keep in mind, you want to be careful about, you know, how far you bend those uh, metal sabers and all that. And this is the main body of our flag carrier on here. Now, in this case, they do give a wire metal 
here for uh, what we're doing for his uh, flag. Now, what's kind of a nice uh, thing here, they also included the embroidery, the finial, I believe they referred to that, that you can attach to the flag, uh, that it's, it's metal. Uh, so that's going to be really something interesting to paint up and see how that turns out. Now, not bad, not bad at all. Well, let's take a look at the instruction guide here. So in this case here, uh, this gives you a full, I'll pull back a little bit here. So this is a full color guide that tells you uh, what it gives you a bit of the background about who were these guys, what did they do, why did they do the things that they did, and then you look on the inside and it gives you even more of a selection of flags compared to uh, Perry Miniatures. But if you were, if you needed to buy a certain flag, I know that there are organizations out there that they make them in 28 millimeter scale. You can always get those. Uh, but you can see that they differ. They belong to different regiments. So how you do that, you know, again, that's where you have to look, do a little bit of research as far as which unit would you want uh, to put in there. So it also gives you an idea about how the figures would look uh, when they are painted as well. And then again, uh, the final thing here was how did they fight? What was their performance on the field? So this gives you a little bit more information compared to the Perry miniatures as far as how these guys uh, did. Um, wow. So there you have it. You have the... This concludes the unboxing of Warlord's La Prussian Landwehr uh, Infantry Box. Okay, I hope this benefited you guys. Take care and have an awesome day.